Hello and welcome to this special edition of Show Me the Music. I'm Jade Harrell filling in for Ben Province. Imagine Dragons frontman Dan Reynolds is using his famous voice to raise awareness of unexplained back pain that could be inflammatory arthritis of the spine. It's called ankylosing spondylitis, also known as AS. Dan was diagnosed in his early 20s with this painful condition that can cause inflammation and pain throughout the spine, including the lower spine, buttocks, and hips. We're catching up with Dan now to talk about the band's incredible success story and his role in raising awareness for unexplained back pain that could be AS. Joining him is Dr. Hilary Norton, a rheumatologist who also has AS. Welcome to you both. Dan, Imagine Dragons has achieved so much success in a short time. What do you love most about being in this band and being a musician? Yeah, you know, uh, to be able to travel the world and play music for a living obviously is, you know, a dream that I've had since I was a really little kid. And so I think to fulfill that um, alone is amazing. But yeah, particularly, you know, being on stage and connecting with people all over the world and through different language barriers is a really magical thing to witness and to be a part of. So uh, I just feel super fortunate to be able to do it. Dan, as someone who's lived with unexplained back pain, share with us how this affects your daily life. What has that been like for you? I mean, at first it was completely debilitating uh, and almost ended my career um, because I couldn't move on stage. I was in so much pain about a decade ago when, it, you know, pre-diagnosis. Um, and it got to a point where I was so stiff I couldn't move on stage at all. I would just stand by the microphone and hope to be able to make it through the hour and a half set. Um, and so that went on for a few years because uh, it's pretty common for people with AS to have misdiagnosis or to be undiagnosed um, and that happened to me. Doctors didn't know what it was um, or they would tell me uh, something wrong. Uh, they would give me a misdiagnosis. So, you know, when you're in chronic pain every day <laughs> that that goes by is super frustrating and that happened to me for years. Um, so finally when I got diagnosed I, by a rheumatologist, um, that really changed my life when I was told, hey, this is what you have, here's the name for it and got me on a treatment plan. Uh, it, it literally changed my life. So. My goal here is to make it so that doesn't happen to other people. Uh, there are million, millions of people who have AS and probably millions that are undiagnosed out there. So the goal is to get people to go to monsterpainintheas.com if you have unexplained back pain and do a few minute quiz, literally like a three minute quiz, and you will be able to then see, okay, it looks like I do or I don't. And if you do, uh, then it will uh, refer you to a local rheumatologist. So if I had those tools available to me 10 years ago, it would have really, you know, changed my life uh, in, in, earlier. I wouldn't have to go through those, those years of just excruciating pain. Dan, what do you hope to achieve by sharing your experience and how you lived with AS? I think to anybody out there who has chronic illness or chronic pain, um, it's, you know, nothing else matters. When your pain's, when, when you're ill or your, your pain level is just through the roof every day, all the other things that were stressing you out or you're thinking about, you can't even enjoy. You can't enjoy the, the little things of life because you're just in pain all the time. Um, and then not to mention, you know, when in the early years when we were touring like that, I was a completely broke musician, so going to doctors, I couldn't af afford that. Uh, so to have to do that, but I had to do it because I was in so much pain, I needed to find out what was going on. So. Um, it, it's a really scary thing to go through. I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. And so uh, that's our goal is to just make it so you can be right at home, get online, take a short quiz, and then it will also tell you, you know, if it sounds like you have it, uh, here's a rheumatologist to go to. It's local for you. Dr. Norton, not only are you a rheumatologist, but you're someone who's also lived with AS. Can you share with us your experience and what advice you have to help others manage this disease? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like Dan, I myself went through a long delay in diagnosis, and that's why we're so excited to be working with Novartis on this campaign to help raise awareness. And you had asked about the importance of continuing to seek another opinion if you're, if you're not getting answers. And I see patients frequently who have been misdiagnosed for a long time, particularly women, because we used to think that women didn't get AS very often. We now know that that's not true. Um, so my role really is in educating people what AS is. 
So AS is inflammatory back pain as opposed to mechanical back pain. And it's very different. Inflammatory back pain gets worse with rest and it generally gets better with activity. So most of us find staying active very important. This pain can get very bad at night to the point where you have to get up and move and sometimes that becomes difficult. But I tell my patients it's important for us to come up with an individual plan for each person. In addition to medications to manage the disease, healthy lifestyle choices are very important in AS. So exercising regularly, eating an anti-inflammatory diet, getting enough rest, and not smoking, those things can really be key in, in making a difference in how your disease goes. What resources are available and how can we help people live well with AS? Well, in addition to the quiz on monsterpainintheas.com, there are other resources on that site. And the Spondylitis Association of America is an excellent resource for AS education. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Norton and Dan. All the best to you and the time you're going to take to spend with your family and your little babies. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. And make sure you all join us for the next episode of Show Me the Music. Don't miss it right here on STL TV, Experience St. Louis. <laughs>